One of the lovely things about coming to this lake is we see a great variety of birds yeah, we and saw the eagles. Bald eagles. Yeah, and it's wonderful to see those, especially as an engineer, because when I see a bird like an osprey, it, it's just a marvel of design. Birds are an example of irreducible complexity. You have to have several components and subsystems all in place at once for that bird to fly. Interestingly, the Wright brothers actually studied pigeons and they said that enabled them to fully understand how to produce an aeroplane. Do you see that a lot in terms of engineering today, looking at the natural world to better understand how to design uh, the things that they're working on? Well, this is now a really big topic in engineering. It's called, it's called bio-inspired design. Mm -hmm. Engineers studying natural designs, not necessarily to copy exactly, but to be inspired to copy the principles. And there are thousands of engineers around the world now copying designs. And that's fascinating because engineers are recognizing that design in the natural world is far more sophisticated than design in engineering. Well, Stuart, all that does is to bring us back to the obvious observation that man is also unique in the fact that he has given us the ability to design. In other words, God crafted him to be a, a craftsman. There is something so unique about even the purpose of man that God has not only made him with those capabilities, but he's created an entire universe with the raw materials that allows him to be that craftsman, to be that designer. And it's as if God has thought of every need of man, every future, need of man and then given us all the materials that we would need to construct technology, to construct cities and homes and we see the goodness and wisdom of God in doing that.